Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I am going to introduce you with Revit. I will prepare a series of videos in which I will provide how to use Revit tool with detail fundamentals. I will also prepare floor plan, elevation, section and many more basic videos in that playlist. So in this video, I will show you how to create new projects on Revit. What are the tabs and panels are available. Also, we will discuss about some extra annotation and quick access toolbar. So please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. So let's get started. So first of all, let's understand what is Revit. Revit is a BIM software. The full form of BIM is Building Information Modeling Software. So question is, why this BIM software when we already have a software like AutoCAD? So AutoCAD is a general drawing tool. It's a CAD software. CAD means Computer Added Design. And it provides technology for architects, engineers and construction professionals to design and create precise 2D and 3D drawings instead of manual drafting with an automated process. But Revit is a BIM software. BIM means Building Information Modeling Software. So BIM is used for creating and managing data during design, construction and operation process. It is an intelligent 3D model based process that gives architecture engineering and construction professionals the insight and tools to efficiently plan design and construct also manage buildings and infrastructure so hope you understand what is revit so let's start how to create new projects on revit so open revit by double clicking on the icon so this is the home page of Revit. Here I am using Revit 2018. This is Revit 2018 here I am using. You can see here two categories. First is projects and second category is families. So in project you have options to create a new project and to open an existing project. So this open is to open an existing project and this new is to create a new project. Any project you have recently created or opened will appear here. Now this is families. So whatever object Revit provides ready made that comes under families. So in Revit, maximum objects or things are ready-made. So Revit provides us ready-made families. So ready-made families such as walls, doors, windows, furniture, floors, etc. comes under families. In Revit, whatever we create in project, we use families in all those projects. So using families, we can create our project. So without families, we cannot create any project in Revit. Revit has also provided us the option to create a new families. Suppose you want to create a new design of window or door or any object. Then you can create that here. And you can use that in your project. So basically, we use families to create projects. So hope you understand what is projects and what is uh, families. So let's see how to create a new project. So to create a new project, you can click on new here. You can click on new or go to file menu and click on new and go to project and click on it. But I will simply keep, click on this. But I will simply click on this new. Now you can see the new project dialog box is open now. So here you have to select a template file. 
So from here you may or may not see any templates, but there are some templates are installed with the software. But if it's not coming in your computer, then you have to download it from the Revit site. So now I will show you where are the templates which are installed with the Revit software. So I will go to C drive. So simply go to C drive. In C drive there is a folder named program data. But here we are not able to see any folder named program data because that folder has been hidden. So if the program data folder is hidden then it has to be unhide then only we will be able to see that folder. So to unhide the program data folder we need to what we need to do simply go to organize go to organize then go to folder and search options now click on view now you can see don't show hidden files and folders or drive option is selected now so instead of this we have to select Instead of this, we have to select this, so hidden files, folders and drives. So we have to select this, so click here. Now click on OK. Instead of this, we have to select this and click on OK. Now you can see the program data folder is here. So open this folder. Open this program data folder. Then go to Autodex. This is Autodex folder. Go to Autodex. Then go to RVT 2018, this is RVT 2018, go to RVT 2018, double click here. Now, here you can see templates, templates, family templates, also you can see here, this is family templates, but we need templates right now, so uh, go to templates. So, I have generic templates. Now, there are some templates here. You can see there are some templates. Uh, if I go back, this is Indian templates. Right now, this folder is empty. And if I go back again, this is US metric. Some templates are here also. Uh, so, I will go for the first one. This is generic. So, here these templates are in metric but one of them the first one is imperial so i need imperial so i will go for imperial means the first one imperial means my uh, dimension will be in uh, feet and inches uh, so i need imperial so i am uh, selecting this first one but you can select any other one that you wish to have so go back to your home page Go back to Revit home page. Now click on browse. Click here on browse. Now go to CEC drive. Then click on program data. Then click on Autodex. Now click on RVT 2018. This is RVT 2018. Then click on templates. Now generic. Now select the first one. That is imperial. Select the first one. And click select and click on open. Let the project selected. And click on OK. Click on OK. Now the project or the environment is going to open. Now now you can see the project is open now. This is the project or the environment you can also say. So here on, on the top you can see it is a quick access toolbar. Some shortcuts are provided here. So if you don't want to see the shortcuts of commands here then you can easily remove them also. If you uh, need some other commands here you can easily add them. So I will show you how you will do this. 
you can uh, see this arrow head here and uh, when you click here you can see some of the commands have check ma check mark next to them that means these commands are present in the quick access toolbar okay these commands are present in the quick access toolbar and if you if you want to remove all you need to do is to click on this click on there suppose i don't want to see save here okay suppose i don't want to see this save icon here then i click here click here see it's gone from here and again i clicked here so it appeared here so next this is the name of the project as i haven't saved it so it's showing a default name project 1 and it's a floor plan level 1 so next talk about this this is the ribbon and the ribbon contains a lot of tabs this is the ribbon and the uh, and the ribbon contains you can see the ribbon contains a lot of tabs so these these are the tabs and under each tab you can see different parts all of them are separated with lines so under each tab you can see different parts and all the all of parts are different uh, are separated with these lines each part so each part is called a panel or a gallery but mostly it's known as panel so each panel consists of several commands for example this is architecture tab and under this tab these are the panel panels this is under architecture tab these are the panels in this panel all modeling related commands are available some and some extra annotation is also available here so you can see here this is wall command door command window command component column so uh, some other commands and the, the name of the panel is written underneath that it's build panel or build gallery you can see you can say it panel also you can say gallery most uh, mostly it's known as uh, panel so it is build panel like this these are the panels circulation model room area opening datum workplace so like this this is structure structure tab and under structure tab these are the panels and each panel contains different commands so each tab contain consists of several panels and each panel consists of several commands so you can check other tabs by clicking on the tab name and you can use the command as per your requirement from the panel so these are the very basic basic things about revit and its tabs and panels so in next video i'll discuss more about this tabs and panels and i'm discussing everything very clearly and step by step so that it will be easy for beginners also so hope you like this video and if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment and if you haven't subscribed the channel then do subscribe thank you for watching